I am J Dog John Carson, and welcome to the show, guys. Let's say hello, shall we? Because I've got some things I want to show you about a really cool tree, believe it or not. But, um, but I want to um, say hello to Jamie Williams. Jamie, I have to say a particular hello to you because I love what you wrote. You said I, uh, that you are blunt and generally uncomfortably honest. So keep up the good work. So, And uh, I want to say hello to Tracy Stuhlfire. Hi, Tracy. And to Katie Vincent and Sally Lou Gortsky and to Candy Brown. So guys, welcome. A warm welcome to the show. So, and hopefully, uh, hopefully it is a little bit helpful to you. And maybe, goodness gracious, in my dreams, maybe even be useful to you. Hey, we got some mail. I want to tell you about the mail. Let's read it. I got a letter. Always love mail. So thank you guys. Uh, this is from Chris. So Chris, thanks, thanks a lot. It says, your subject line, your garden center. I was just out to see you with my husband after seeing the Channel 5 piece on Ely Coffee. Wow, Ely Coffee, you found it. So great, I'm glad. Love the Servia Cup, so great. No one greeted us. There wasn't anyone around except some guy working on some underground pipes. We saw the Ely cart, but no one was there either, and a gallon of milk was sitting in the sun. We just left. Thought you want to know, the garden was beautiful, Chris. Well, I have to say, Chris, thank you very much for writing. See, I'm thinking, so I'm reading this, and you know how life can get so busy. I mean, it comes at us from all angles, rapid fire. And so Chris came in to have this experience here. And, but then she stopped to take the time to write. And, and I want, that is a big undertaking. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. So what we did is we reviewed, okay, who was... How did how did she have this experience here? We did we're dying to serve a wonderful cup of Ely coffee, show you some plants too. So we reviewed, okay, who was on? <laughs> and and a double apology because I think that guy that was working on the underground pipes, that was me of all people. And um, and I have no clue how a gallon of milk was sitting in the sun. Wait till Nathan from Ely Coffee hears about this. We're trying, here we are trying so hard to do exactly as, because Ely has this hundreds of years, family tradition, coffee to the tea. And um, this bozo over here is, is, is <laughs> leaving milk in the sun. So I'm sorry, but I promise you, milk is cold. Coffee is good, so um, if you're ever in the area again, Chris, stop on by. We'll try this again. Please, uh, hopefully, hopefully we won't concentrate so hard. But anyway, um, so thank you very much for writing, and thanks, guys, for any of the mail that you might send. So, um, hey, let's talk about a chocolate mimosa, a mimosa tree. Technically, it's an albizia. That's the botanical name. This is albizia julibrizian. Is the, is the botanical name. Take a look at this foliage, and we're just gonna do a one plant show today. Look how dark a foliage that is. It actually comes out a little bit green. You can see the new foliage here, and then rapidly turns into that, um, how, do you, how do you wanna say that? It's just really dark, burgundy-ish, um, almost a black foliage. Now, all the literature, uh, uh, scoop on this, guys, all the liter literature on the albizias will say, gosh, fast-growing, full-size tree. Um, but the summer chocolate I have found to be much, much slower. So if you have a favorite pot um, that you want to do this dark foliage in it, definitely do that. It's a great potted tree. Doesn't get that large either, so you can. Now you'll be in control of this. It can get 15, 20 feet tall, maybe just as wide. But you'll prune this to how you like. One thing I haven't even mentioned is the blooms on these guys. Blooms comes out kind of like a, uh, well, I would say, a small bottle brush look. So really a fine, uh, well, you know, just like those little brushes that clean bottles, uh, except very, very pink on that. So a nice pink with that chocolate 
top notch and you'll be the only one in the neighborhood having this because there's not this is something you don't see around every day so anyway summer chocolate albizia great container plant great in the garden loves the sunshine by the way morning sun or afternoon sun so thought you'd like to know unless you didn't find that very interesting here is your quote for the day the elevator to success is out of order you'll have to use the stairs one step at a time thank you very much joe gerard that's the show today guys always live your passion